Hey everyone, this is Aislinn, and today we're going to learn how to create the sunglasses accessory in MVU Studio. Accessories are a great way to create a unique look that fits your own style. This is also a fantastic starting point for you to build your own shop and start making money. Today we will be working with a female sunglasses accessory. The steps we'll be following will be the same for either the female or male version of the sunglasses. So let's open up your editing program and get started. To begin creating your own unique sunglasses, we will start by downloading the provided textures on the product page. Right click on the glasses texture, select save image as, and you will either download them to your downloads folder or to a pre-selected folder on your computer. Select save and follow the process for the other two textures on the product page. Once the textures are downloaded, you are ready to open them up into your editing program and get started creating your new sunglasses. Now that you have downloaded your textures and are ready to begin customizing your new sunglasses, you will need to use an editing program such as Photoshop or GIMP. These programs will allow you to change the look of your sunglasses to suit your own unique style. And now that your textures are finished, it's time to add them into InView Studio. What we're going to do is get the product identification and on the shop in next, it will be this last set of numbers here. You can just copy and paste that. Or if you're on the classic page where we downloaded the textures, the numbers will be right here or at the bottom of the product page right here. So all you need to do is copy and paste those numbers and let's add them into MVU Studio. Opening MVU Studio, we'll see the welcome screen here and it will show you a list of the draft products that you've recently worked on. And all you need to do is go to the create button. Here we'll see a list of derivable products. And what we're going to do, since we have the product identification number, we are going to hit PID and paste that number into the window. And then we'll hit the magnifying glass and search for that product. Now, when that loads, it will be the first product right here. You'll see the glasses that we want to work on. You will select this. And on this side of the screen, you will see a list of the derivation tree and a preview of the product on your avatar. What we do next is simply click Derive. And now that our product has loaded into InView Studio, we will click on the Materials tab here and then select our first texture. Diffuse is the texture slot where you'll replace your new glasses texture. Here we can see the original pink version and we're going to add our texture that we made in our editing program. So we will select sunglasses, then we will go down to lenses, and diffuse we will add our lens texture, and below here where it says opacity, we will add our opacity texture. We will double check that the transparency mode is on composite blend, and then we will simply hit preview. And now we can see the finished version of our sunglasses check and spin around make sure it all looks good and if we're satisfied with that product all we have to do is hit save and then the next thing we'll do is go over to the information tab or info tab and we'll see a list of information that we add to the product so we can publish it under thumbnail we will add the icon and here we will change the name and here you can adjust the rating if necessary down this list is your profit you can write up your profit and here you will add your keywords. And when you have finished entering your keywords, you can see the other controls, whether you want to make this product derivable, searchable, display only, or to allow inclusion in the third party bundles. Once you're satisfied with your information, hit save once more. And then all you need to do is hit submit. This will pop up and ask if you want to submit to the shop. We do, so we will select submit. And now our submission is successful. Click OK. And now we have our loaded product page where you can add HTML descriptions if you want or to submit it to the shop, click here to publish it and send it through peer review. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.